uh, hi i am going to explain you extjs video tutorial part 1 which is the basic introduction to extjs what is extjs and what is the requirement of extjs and how we can use extjs to create an application so now I'll explain you uh, the EXJS, uh, what is the meaning of EXJS uh, and what is it. EXJS stands for Extended JavaScript and this is a JavaScript framework and product of Sanja which is based on UI UI means Yahoo user interface. It is basically a desktop application development platform with modern UI. And the pre what is required to learn this? We, we should have some basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, JSON coding, that's all. And EXTJS is the most powerful JavaScript based application development platform. It provides cross browser compatibility also. Uh, EXTJS provides mm. some features which are the following. Uh, EXTJS is a client side JavaScript application framework to build enterprise applications it supports updated concepts meaning we can use class object method method overriding binding message passing etc so it makes our application easier to development and run solo exjs supports single application development and exjs supports embedded and embedded architecture we can we can use this to design part to uh, build our application. EXJS has a data package which is very helpful to save the database and retire the data also. EXJS uh, includes object UI component, containers and layouts. These can be used while developing an EXJS application. EXJS also includes drag and drop functionality for your container and components. EXTJS also includes localized package, packages which uh, makes it easy to localize the application. And how to develop our first EXTJS application? Uh, we, we can use the link to the CDN network. Uh, first two you can see these are the CDN log URL and uh, we can give this URL to our application and no need to install any EXTJS. SDK or anything, we just include these two URL and you can build a application in HTML file and give this to reference. And here you can use the ext functionality. Here I am using ext.on ready. When the page is ready, then this one will be executed. And inside the function, I am creating a panel, a panel of ext. So ext.panel means panel is a class in the ext package. ext is the base class for and render to this panel render to the panel name render to the div here uh, here I am giving a div and in the div I am giving render to this div height is 100 width I am giving and title also I am giving a panel and the HTML what is the content panel I am giving here I will show a demo also how to execute this now coming to the demo here my application is ready this is the uh, HTML page where I am giving them to CDN network. These two you can see the link to the CDN network. And and this is the URL to uh, to the source to the student. I'll show you this one. So finally I am commenting that. Now I am writing our uh, EXT functionality to show that hello world program. Here in the JavaScript text JavaScript tag inside that we are writing the ext on ready function and here i am creating panel of extjs giving the height to it and the title and the html content and i am binding the output of that to this div so i am saving it and after saving and in the application then i will do the output of this So this is the basic functionality of EXTJS. I will show you in the next tutorial what are the advantages of EXTJS and how we can create our custom classes and how to 
uh, how to create the custom class and how to call that functions from the script in ASTJS. So now I'll show you the output for this, how it will look like, means a ASTJS panel, how it is look like. So I'm just building up here some and running. browser is opening and in the browser you will see a uh, panel ext.js panel and in that panel you will see all these content uh, title will be hello world and the html content will be uh, ext.js hello world and the height of and 100 and width whatever i have given So the application is started in localhost 2651 and this is, my, this is my page name. This is time loading so it is taken. Here you can see the output hello world is the uh, panel name then uh, that's for, that's for this session. In the next session we discuss about uh, this.